have here is our small bindery mm -hmm. where we have a finishing line, we call it a finishing line, which enables us to collate two vertical collators, 16 bins in all. Mm -hmm. We can collate out the back into a stack, or if we've got a 64 page book, mm -hmm. we can pick those individual flat sections up. It will collate through here, staple, fold and trim coming out a finished booklet. Now if you've got a booklet from flat sheets that are either done digitally or indeed uh, through Lito Press, this machine, I will, if we get the opportunity, Rose is folding at the moment, when she gets the opportunity we'll, we'll get this running. She hasn't got anything in there at the moment, but uh, that's a, this is getting on a little bit now, it's actually five, six years old, this piece of kit, but it's, again, it, it's Japanese, mm. but it's very good quality, uh, very reliable. We put thousands of books through it. Um, so in so addition with that, we've got, a, 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 with, with digital now, it's drier, drier material. Um, when you're printing litho, you're adding water to the sheet, so it's more flexible. Not, um, digital, it dries the sheet out. So with anything that's over about a 160 gram, something like that, they need to be creased mm. if it's a book cover or anything like that. So we've got a small automatic creasing device there that we just float through and it is very, very quick. We crease, crease the covers and then they can go into a bin here. So we haven't got a, you know, we don't have the problem with them coming out and they crack, the spines crack or anything like that. Yeah. And what sort of sizes are we talking about? We're, we're B3. We're a B3 house, if you like, so that we print, well, when I say B3, we're SRA3, which is an oversized A3. There's A3 with trims on it. B3 is, is larger than SRA3, if you like, it's the next size up. But most of the kit we have here enables us to go to oversize A3, uh, which is two A4 pages to view, four A5s or whatever. And again, because we're in the small, the, sh uh, the short run and the small format side, yeah, that's fine. You know, we don't want big presses that have big footprints. We don't need that. If we were doing hundreds of thousands of run lengths, then we would need a bigger press and a bigger format. Um, we've got a black and white digital, dedicated black and white digital over there, which does the same job as the Konica Minolta, and as it happens, that is a Xerox. Um, we were one of the first in the area to get that, um, and that is um, pretty darn good at things like we do a lot of uh, booklets, um, parish magazines and upwards. Um, we do a lot of yearbooks, handbooks, and that's, if there's multi-page black and white, that is the press for it. Um, again, that's getting on a little bit now. It's, I don't know, it's three or four years, but you, you know, with digital, you have to look at three or four year cycles. And the technology moves, doesn't it? Absolutely, yes. yeah, yeah. So. Um, so that's pretty much, I mean, we've got a wire binding device here behind us where we do a lot of calendars. We put, we do them either colour or not many black and white, the black and white um, months, if you like, with the, with the coloured images. Um, we used to place this out, outsource it, but we started doing so many personalised calendars that we started to do them ourselves. So we, again, researched that. That's a pretty robust piece of commercial kit that we that we uh, wire bind. We also use that for um, yearbooks. Mm -hmm. We do yearbooks for a lot of organisations and sure. societies. So anything that needs to lie flat, isn't it? Anything, yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, if we've got a reference book, or I mean, we do for the local football leagues and bowls leagues, the women's bowls and men's bowls, who have 100, 200 pages, mm. all that need referencing, yeah. then you can just open it and it lays flat. Yeah. So it's pretty good. We do, we've converted a number. If you get to, you know, you start getting 64, 70 odd pages, um, you, if, if you're going to get difficult to, um, to, to staple. So you really want to be looking for an alternative, either perfect bound, which of course won't lay flat. It's, it's so, so wrongly named, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> absolutely, because it's not, yeah. So we do more and more, so that's why I put that in. Yeah. <coughs> so that pretty much is it, I think, Alan. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Very interesting, thanks very much. Good one, sir.